So let's see what we can do here. Increase my volume somehow. Okay, uh, Mr. Ballion back here. Uh, let's see if this is actually going to help here. All right, just check my settings here quickly. So my input device audio up a bit. Okay, cool. Let's do that. All right. Uh, I just want to go over a couple more things we did in class today. And we worked on timing a bit and a couple ways to change, uh, not change, move your keys. Okay. So for example, let me just slide in here, for example, here. Okay. So let's look at this. For a minute, this character happens to be airborne at frame 19 from 13 to 19. Okay. So that's six frames. And by the time it lands, it's also six frames. So that's really, timing-wise, it makes no sense. Okay, sure, space-wise it goes up and then comes down, right? Okay, that's cool. But really, in reality, you can go up fast, but maybe come down uh, slower, whatever you want to do. Okay, so obviously 666 six, six all the way here isn't a really good timing. There's a couple ways that we can move things. Okay, we did the copy and paste earlier, so that's just for holding certain poses in place. There's clearly other methods to do that. So from 13 to 19, let's say you want to take longer time, right? M more. Okay, there's a couple things you can do. You can come in here, and uh, if I have all selected, for example, press F to frame it all in, A to make sure. Okay, cool. I can come in here manually, select all of these keys, and hold Shift and count one, two, three, that kind of thing. Okay, so I just gave myself some space. Uh, sorry, some time. 13 to 20. So I just added, you know, one extra one. So what you can do sometimes is say, you know what, I want to move it to 22, for example. Right, so watch this. If I hold Shift and left click, boom, one and right to the red dial, okay? There, it, it goes that way, okay? So that's one way of doing it, okay? So that's kind of cool, okay? So we're working on our timing. So from 12, from 13 to 22, we, uh, you know, this just jumps taking a super long time. Clearly not something I want to do right now. I want to work the other way around. So anyhow, I want to expand this area, like from 26 on. So I can come in here and select all these keys Okay, and say, you know what, it's taken five frames to get here, or six frames. So I want it to be maybe longer, right? So let's say we want it to be um, 28. So again, so you know this, hold shift, middle scroll, boom, boom, one more time, and there it is on the money, right here, from 20 to 28. Okay, so that's, that's clearly, that's a method. Boy, how many more ways can I show you how to do this? Oh, guess what? I'm going to show you two more methods as well. Oops, leave it alone, command Z. Okay, so so we went, the drop took a little longer, right? Boom, so it goes up super fast, relatively fast, not that fast. And let's say we pop that back um, uh, one, one more frame, okay, just for fun. Okay, so we can come over here, hold shift, and boom, right over. Okay, so we just, we're changing our timing. Okay, so that's done. Now, there's clearly way uh, many other methods. So one is this. If I click at 28 with, le uh, with shift click. So look at that. Okay. So all of a sudden now we have range here. I can expand. I can take all these right now. So what I what did I do? Okay. Let's just back up. I'm going to shift click in here. Okay. And I leave, I move my hands from my mouse. And I'm just going to select this right arrow and I'm just going to basically expand my selection. Okay. So that's kind of cool. And if I go to the middle two now, now I can actually slide them over. Look at that. So I just expanded the end to 60. So you see that? See here, 60? That's kind of cool. So that's a nice way of doing that. Okay, so from, uh, if, again, I have, n there's no logic as to my time here. Uh, with the reason from 19 to 34, that's a lot of space, right? A lot of time. So I'm just showing you methods of moving your keys, okay? Now the other method, the one that I really like sometimes, is this one, okay? Up here it is a thing called the dope sheet. That's tracks, dope, right there. Dope sheet, right there. Okay, so again, so what, what does that look like? This is kind of cool. So watch this, if I select the top ones here, or let's just do one for example. If I select this one for example, this whole pillar, every key below this key is selected. So if I middle drag now, middle mouse, oh, look at that, bingo. So from 19 to 30, there it is. If I want to select all these guys in middle school, look at that, I'm just going to town here. 
Okay, later on I'll teach you guys hotkeys to insert keys in between, but we're not doing that at this point. You guys, first time in Maya in grade 11, sometimes in grade 10 I'll teach this as well. And the grade 9s, you can look at this, the dope sheet is kind of cool. And again, uh, guys, you want to add more keys here, just slide it over a bit, and then select these ones, uh, middle mouse, boom, boom, a few more, and so on. And then I'm just going to take this one. A bit over, okay. And again, I don't I haven't timed my animation at this point to make things make sense. Okay, the reason the, the reason why I did this is because, for example, if the flower sack lands on frame 30, right? Frame 30, go to 41, goes up, right? And between 30, and if I hold Option period, look, it's going up, right? But but what I want to do at 31, uh, maybe at frame 32, is start bringing down the ears, right? I didn't have room before to do that, so I had to expand my timeline. Okay, so I hope these three methods will help you guys. So at this point, you can come in here, select your ears, uh, ear handles, for example, there at 30, and then make a key, make sure there's a key there, boom, and then at 34, um, rotate down or something. Okay, so that's definitely an option that you could work with. Okay, so I think that's pretty cool. I'm happy. Um, three methods of moving keys uh, uh, in the timeline here. Okay, if clearly, um, maybe I should just do this too. Let's say I want this to be 120 frames. Done. Okay, so you can also do it like this. Go less than 120, all the way to 120. Uh, if you only want to watch from 30 on, so watch this. You can slide this over until it hits 30. Okay, so 30 here tells you that's what I want to look at right now. I want to look at 30 to let's say 70, right? So watch this. Just bring this down to 70. So it kind of scales it in nicely. Okay, a little bonus. So I'm looking from 30 to 70. So this area in here is what I'm looking at right now. So there. And then if I want to get out of this, of course, back to Graph Heather where we live. Kind of press A to frame it. F to frame it actually A is all. Um, so this is kind of cool. I think we're in good shape, okay? Uh, Mr. Bellion saying thank you for watching. Again, under eight minutes, not bad. These little tidbits will help you guys animating, okay? Guys, take care. Bellion out.